Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Paige Cashbury. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This morning, we'll tell you about the Red Sox Chuck Day, your weekly gas prices, and more. Today is Wednesday, February 8th, and this is the Morning Report. With pitchers and catchers reporting on Valentine's Day, it's time for the Red Sox equipment truck to deliver the goods to JetBlue Park on Daniels Parkway in Fort Myers. Having left Vintage Fenway Park on Yawkey Way and chilled Boston on Monday, the equipment truck is expected to arrive to find friendlier weather conditions in Fort Myers on Thursday. The Sox host a free open house on February 18th from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. at JetBlue Park. Players will be available for autographs and self-guided tours will be conducted. President Donald Trump is accusing the media of deliberately minimizing coverage of the threat posed by the Islamic State group, saying news outlets have their reasons for not reporting what he described as a genocide underway at the hands of the group. The president did not immediately offer evidence to support his claim, made during the new commander-in-chief's visit Monday to the headquarters for U.S. Central Command. Later, the White House released a list of 78 attacks described as executed or inspired by the Islamic State group since September 2014. The White House said most on the list did not get sufficient media attention, although it did not explain how it defined the term. Some of the incidents on the list received widespread attention and deep reporting. Fuel prices held steady over much of the nation in the last week despite record low fuel demand, according to the American Automobile Association. Citing a report from the U.S. Energy Information Administration, AAA notes that fuel demand in January was at its lowest point since 2012. Despite this, the national average remained unchanged at $2.27 per gallon Monday. In Florida, it was a slightly different story, with modest decreases throughout the state. Lee County saw prices drop $0.02 to $2.25 per gallon, while Naples fell to $2.34 statewide. The average price dropped $0.03 to $2.28, now a drop of $0.13 over the past month. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Paige Godfrey. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.